Shalom. Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Kadash. We will honor, honor to the elders and apostles of great masters in the world, labor the way of doctrine. Shalom. Shalom. Abachia. Peace to the elect. So here we are in Deuteronomy 28, or 28, if you want me to enunciate, and pronunciate. Deuteronomy 28, 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart, a failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And Jake doesn't have any ease. Doesn't have any ease. Will seek it through, for example, laying with all manner of woman, and not any level of order or out of love. But out of lust, don't try to build anything or create anything. And really, you're allowed to deal with a harlot in the way even Jake would go about that. You probably have a child, not care for the child, and such like that. And you seek it in 2K and an over obsession and almost idolatry of sports or music. Or something like that. For example, going maybe even dating women, and, or whatever you call it, but dealing with women, and then going into their quote unquote gods, like right? going into Lupercalia at the Valentine's Day, or even begin to worship her, for example, her birthday. Right? What did Job say about that? What did Iowa say about that? Right? What were the two examples that prove, or out of Job at least. The two examples it proved that is not our custom, that is not something we're supposed to deal with. That was that we were given a law, a culture, and to join into the other nations. And Jake is always an afterthought. You know, there's no, you're not at ease. And if ease, E, is trying to incorporate you, you're always an afterthought. After the, 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 the ones that Profess to be Genesis 9 and 13. That, you know, the covenant and the bow. And then, oh, the woman above, like, what's it called? The woman being above you. Right, and the, whose, whose rights come first. And then the people who say, man was not created male and female. Then, or, or maybe it was, but I was created this, and now I'm this. Not to say too much on that for the algorithm rhythm. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. The only thing that can give us assurance or hope, or hope, and that's the main thing, prisoners of the, the prisoners, you know, of, of the nations, <coughs> prisoners of E, truly, all nations have their own office in helping out with that. Zechariah 11 and 4 and down, they saith, Yahweh, my power, Feed the flock of the slaughter. And who are they? Jake. Jake is the flock of the slaughter. As a sheep. <coughs> Salahi. As a sheep. Going, heading to the slaughter. We were slayed all the day long. Zechariah 11 and 4. Thus saith Yahweh, my power. Feed the flock of the slaughter. Whose possessors slay them. And hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich, and my own shepherds pity them not. And even that when you had the greatest blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, right, putting up all those pictures as not, not who they truly were. And that was what was professed while Jake was being murdered and spoiled and dethroned all the way throughout from really the end of the Middle Ages, but persisting in them. 
point you say coming to the the greatest point that we've ever seen it in our recent recollection in the so-called transatlantic slave trade uh, and that's why in her in Babylon the Great was found all that blood we read that Revelation 18 <coughs> in verse 24 and in her was found the blood of prophets and of saints and of all that were slain upon the earth and who are the saints? Jake and whether he's in his right mind or not he is the people of the saints Psalm 50 and 5 Gather my saints together unto me those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice and the greatest sacrifice is and was or shall I say rather was and is Yahweh Shai HaMashiach right, and that sacrifice was made for who? the nation of Israel even Paul who the quote unquote Christians live to profess as a great man they don't follow his doctrine as, as that old you know if he's such a great teacher why don't you believe in what he's written here Romans 9 3 through 5 if I could wish that myself were a curse from Hamashiach for my brethren my kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of power and the promises whose are the fathers and of whom concerning the flesh from the Shaykh came who is overall power blessed forever a man and there is they are the Israelites they are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the bringing back to redeem them who were under the law what does that mean? Because you'll say only the Israelites were under the law, so Christians they have to keep the law. And he said to redeem them that were under the law in Galatians, and the glory, right, the kingdom, and all manner of glory, the glorified bodies. All of this pertains to Israel, and the covenants old and new, and the new covenant says not according to their fathers, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. So whose fathers are they? Whose are the children? of the fathers who that covenant was made with, the same Israelites, they're coming back in their lot. <coughs> and the new covenant as well, and so it says covenants, <laughs> like it's not covenant, it's covenants, like James White, it's not revelations, it's revelation, and he's correct. It says on the covenants and the giving of the law, right, the law, so redeem them that were under the law, so that adoption of sons is for them. The law was given to, and that says Israelites now, and the service of power, those ones that would be there, those kings and priests, and that fullest form, right, that final form, that super saiyan, and that's how the, the, that's the greatest point an Israelite will ever reach, okay, and the giving of the law and the service of power and the promises and what was promised. Israel would have a kingdom, a righteous kingdom, where they'd be able to rule and reign under their King David, under Yahweh Shai, under Yahweh. And the promises, what else was promised? That Israel wouldn't be done away with. Right? And there's what? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31. And this, that's after it, just directly after it goes into what is the new covenant. Jeremiah 31 and 35, 35, Salachia. Jeremiah 31, 35. The saith Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea and the waves are of all. Yahweh of hosts is his name. And that's his name. IURC that may teach in the name of Jesus Christ and, and not profess the name. Now, if you hear brothers say it over here, you may say, Yeah, Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. In the English, that's it. We might go into even a bit of history. But when, the, when did the letter J come about? Right, who was the man that came up with the letter J and really publicized it? Is it a Renaissance letter? The answer is yes. Right, and Jesus, 
we even go into the Hellenization. So it's an Anglicization of the Hellenization. It's a fully Anglicized version of Yahweh Shai. That name is Joshua. And Joshua, son of Nun. Right, that's the English. So why does it say Joshua and Jesus? Why are they interchangeable? <clears throat> I think it's Acts 7 and 45 where it says Jesus and it's talking about that Joshua or an, a Joshua of old. Just to, just to say it like that, it's talking of a Joshua of old. But it's not talking of this new, not new because it was the first spirit created, but this new name in these scriptures. And the name has been a foretime of old. And it's Yahweh That's the name of the Messiah. And his father's name is Yahweh. So it says, Jeremiah 31, 35. Thus saith Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by night. That's a lucky. Thus saith Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea and the waves are of roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith Yahweh, then shall the seed of Israel also cease from being a nation before me forever. And has it? Has that happened yet? Because I thought Israel was done away with. It no, it no longer pertains to them, those covenants, promises, adoption. All of those things we just read. Jeremiah 31 and 37. Thus saith Yahweh, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith Yahweh. So can it? Even E will tell you, well, I've only managed to get how, however many percent they say of the ocean. Now, this is a point I like to bring out a lot because. It, that's just deceptive because unless you have a hundred percent hey hey you hear that now but unless you have a hundred percent of something you can't work out what percentage this part is right you'd have to have the denominator before working out well what is this as a fraction or a percentage you'd have to work out well what is it out of if i have five leaves and i have give you two of them then you know i've given you two fifths but I just, if i just give you two of them and you start going, well, he's only given me this many percent, ten percent of his leaves. How would you know? You have to know the whole thing. I right? say so he is a liar. We knew that. But this hasn't happened. This can't be measured out. Israel can't even be measured according to the scripture. Right? Israel cannot be measured, nor numbered. So there you have it. Israel is still about, and you're just an afterthought. Jake is just an afterthought for these nations. You're sold to. And ultimately it says, well, let's read that. Deuteronomy 28, 28, 28, 64. And Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And that's what happened. That's what continues to happen. Idolatry. Jake serving all manner of different idols. Idolatry. Idolatry. And then we get. Or we could read it. We'll read this Deuteronomy 2868. And the Lord, Yahweh, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And they should be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you again. The word buy means redeem. I know man's going to redeem us. But who's going to redeem us? It says that he should not meet Babylon as a man. I shall not meet thee as a man. It's the first spirit created. That's the one that shall redeem us. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28 <clears throat> and 48 Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee 
And that's what happened under the name of Jesus to bring that back up. Right, under that false, quote unquote, Christianity. Under the name of Jesus Christ, was Jake putting shackles. Right, so what name is it? What name is it? Because that's not, that's not the name. And what does it say? Until he hath, dis until he hath destroyed thee. Right, so Jake's in a destroyed state. As he's cast down. He's not altogether done away with. And destroyed. He went destroyed like that. Right, Baruch 4 and 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved power to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. That's why, because we went off. So what's it, what does that mean? We need to repent. We need to come back to the power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, not of anything. Well, I, I believe in the Bible, Ak, just not, I believe in, well, like, we've got Jesus. Oh no, that's not the doctrine, it's the Bible and Islam. That's, all, that's the canon. And it's the Guru Granth Sahib. These are not the, the doctrine of Yahweh Bahashami Shai. These are the doctrines of the other nations, the gods of the other nations. What would that mean? They are idol the trays, according to these scripts. Psalm 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. But he made it by Hashem Shai, by the word of the Lord Yahweh, who the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. So we'll get Zechariah. Let's see if I can find this. Zechariah 1 and 15. And I am very so displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. And they helped, and they actually enjoyed taking Jake down, having that crafty counsel. And they'll be judged for it. And Jake is just an afterthought. Anytime you think you're getting advocated for, you'll find a whole different bunch of other groups as well. It's never just Jake that's getting advocated for. It was, but he was doing it himself. No, coming a, a, a couple of them, we say a bit of a bit of flesh was joining upon them dry bones, and they began to care for their own tribe and such. But we will all be beautified and fine and good, and not good like that. But we'll be we'll be very well in the kingdom, and that's the, the hope we have. Until then, we're in prison. <laughs> so, like I said to Brother Hapat, until then, what did I say? Enjoy the fuckery until further notice. Yeah? And then we're good. And like I say, not good like that. But then we'll be well. Alright? Isaiah 60 and 21. Thy people also shall be all righteous, they shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. And it's all about the Father's name. It's all for his name's sake. So soon come, very soon come. But hold up your part of the bargain. Do what you've got to do. And the Lord made a promise. So if he said, do these things, and that's the hope we have. Right, these things were written for that. This is Romans 15. And for, for whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right, so we're going to get redeemed, the nation of Israel, whether we be of the elect on this side, the elect nation is Israel, and all, all thy people, if you're in Israel like that is, all thy people shall be righteous, thy people shall be all righteous. Jake, an afterthought, man. Return unto your power. Return unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai in sincerity and truth. Do your bit, and you shall be redeemed if you're of that number. That's a promise from the Lord. All praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai.